Hey folks, Ben here. Are you there? Gretsch right here. What is this? Uh, Gretsch 2420. I really should be able to remember that, but never do. I've only owned it for, I don't know, a year and a half. Anywho, isn't it? Wow, that, you do not want to catch yourself on that one, eh? That's a, all the tetanus. Anywho, um, needs a restring and, uh, cause you know, I don't know, it's been a long time. And so I figured, uh, we'll give it a brief set. Actually. Yeah, close enough. All right. Uh, what I want to do is check the neck relief. And while I think of it, and, you know, don't need new strings for that. So, and of course we'll oil up the fretboard. Uh, do the frets need a fret polish at all? I might hit it with, you know, the high end. You know, start at a thousand and go up from there. I don't know. All right, where's my feel them up gauges? There we are. Currently, we have a gauge set for five thousandths of an inch. That's what you do. Oh, geez, you can't see nothing. All right. Um, give me a second here. You can't see nothing. Can a fella just maybe move that? So we get clearance, clearance, and then we'll just go up like that. There we go. Oh, look at that. So you capo the first fret, and then you're going to, the guy yelled at me the other day, don't keep pressing it, you're going to dent the frets. Really? You think the skin on the palm of my fingers can be harder than metal to push metal in? Jeez. Some people's children. So you're going to press at the body joint, and I don't know. Slip around, on. slip sliding away, and that is more. So we're we're gonna tighten the truss rod ever so slightly. What size is that? Probably four mil. We, we, you know, those are my imperial. We don't want the imperial. We want the Rebel Alliance. Um, six, five, six, six, four. I think it's four mil. Oh, and I thought correctly. So, oh yeah, there's barely anything there. So we'll just do eighth of a turn. I don't think it needs to be too much. Back of the body joint, because I like about five thou relief. And we're at about ah, seven. So I'm just, just gonna give it a touch more. You're like, Ben, yes. Truss rod cover was already off. Yep, I leave them off. Uh, so because the reason the reason being is sometimes with the because I live in Canada and the fluctuation of the humidities and temperatures. Well, that's just barely engaged. Um, you gotta make frequent adjustments. So I just leave the cover off. Keep you know, Mr. Allen keys handy. Ooh, what's this? Ben actually putting tools back during a setup. I know, crazy. And uh, yeah, so it's just easier. Just leave them off. I have them all categorized in various Ziploc. Ah, oh, there they see. Dude. Tell them, by the way, it says Gretsch with the model number. But there's where? where th all right, that's the Gretsch with the G. But the it must have fallen out. Oh, because the bag's not. Well, all right. In theory. Apparently I lost the truss rod. Gone forever. All right. Anyways, in theory, that's what we do to keep track. Of. Oh, wait. There's another one that says Gretsch 2420. With the truss rod in. See? Method. Madness. Sure. All right, let's just put that over there and pretend we didn't see that. Uh, action. I want action tonight. Oh my god, I gotta clean this. It's cloudy all the way around here from the fingerprints, but it's, it's fine in the middle. What do we want? Right. Why? For the logo to be this way and they have the default to all the metric stuff, but most stuff is set, created under imperial conditions. Not those imperial conditions. Lord Vader, your guitar is ready. 
All right, I'm measuring at the 12th fret. We are at, oh, we are at Ben needing glasses. Three and a half sixty-fourths. You can tell because it's halfway between three and four sixty-fourths. So you know what? That is perfect for me. I like it right, I like it a lot right there. So I'm gonna get these strings off now. How far, we're already five minutes in. So what we'll do is we'll just pause, I guess, because I still haven't figured out how to like, speed up thing, and I figured I'd be talking anyway. So we don't need to hear that. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the strings, and we'll meet back here momentarily. Okay? Okay. Strings have been removed. You can tell because if I do this, see, nothing happens. Now, before you go any further, this is the time where you take your favorite microfiber. You don't clean over here necessarily. You can, you can, but see. With the strings off, that's when you can get into headstock and, you know, all down in areas you can't see me do. But you got to take my word for it because you trust me, right? Right. Also, um, you know, in between the pickups, right? All oh, the pickups themselves, as I see how, oof, the man. These things got all the, how do you get fingerprints all over the pickups? Finger picking? No. No, maybe, no. It's just kind of oxidization, and you can see more under each individual string. Weird. It's almost like it was in a case. I don't own a case for this thing. Ooh, very scary. The mystery deepens. Oh, well, that just became unpinned. Perfect. We'll just we'll just uh, put that back. And pretend that never happened. You know what, though, a fella might condition that piece of wood though because that's yeah you know what we'll come back to that that's happy accidents all right now also get a little retention nuts around your tuners there make sure they're snug because that really affects tuning stability because if they're loose it allows the shaft to wiggle around easy mines gutters all right easy all right so we got her it's not a repair video until ben pulls the bloody microphone off part way through oh, i thought i had this so figuring out hang on I should just run this up inside the shirt for once i even tucked her in to the under britches to try to keep that from happening when it pull thing i don't know anyways so what was i gonna do I'm going to polish these. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's going to oil that. So, we got fretboard oil. We're putting, say, the applicator gets, you know, applicated upon. All right, now, how is a fella going to do this without, without adjusting on the wheels? Carefully. Um, you know, a fella could put some tape on there to hold them in place, but what am I looking for? Paper towel. Right. There's a piece. Just need a little piece. So I'm going to do this now before I forget. Oh, what is this? Soda pop? Why is that all? Doing that. All right. Let's pull that off. You want to come out? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, yeah, I guess I am. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the fretboard. So this will. There we go. It's starting to come out now. Can you put too much on? I suppose, you know, if it's all dripping everywhere, but you're gonna wipe off all the excessiveness anyways. You know, kind of like the mucus in your nose. You gotta have some, as it works as a filtry system, but uh, you know, you wipe away the excessive, right? Especially after you've been outside in February. Assuming you don't live where it's summer all the year round, like in Phoenix or something like that, but. Now, 
Oh yeah, this is coming right on now. Oh, I'm gonna get greasy, aren't I? All right, uh, let's get more to the edge here. There. I felt like I can go around. Yeah, we got that. There we go. Oh, underneath. Yeah. Yeah, that's wood too. We don't want to crack. easy around the thumb screws because I don't want to spin them. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, I guess, or something. I don't know. Do people still spin records? Yeah, they do. Let's make a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I'm calling it a comeback. It was like, oh, no, all you need is CDs. They're the way to go. And then, I don't know, then... Metallica made MP3s illegal or something. I don't know how that worked exactly. All right now we got the greasy fingers. There we go. With that excessiveness. Sure. There we go. There we go. And Bob's your uncle, right? Especially if you got an Uncle Bob, like I used to. He, he passed away, unfortunately. I used to. Uncle Bob. I'm just going to let that sit there off the finish. All right, now let's get in here. Oh, didn't put the lid back. Where's there's the lid? Multitasking. Fine. You having fun yet? Sure. So we're just going to wipe away the excessiveness. I can tell this Pow Ferro because it's a little light for my liking, but. It could be lighter, and at least it's not that power ferro that looks ashy all the time. My God, I can't stand this stuff. Oh, well, I think <laughs> it did excessive. Okay. Right, you didn't fall, polish, polish the frets, you know, that too. You didn't polish the frets, Ben. Well, I know, because we, we got into greasiness. Oh, no. Greasy Jungle. That's a song, you know. Greasy Jungle. I don't know exactly what it means. I'm not really a big Tragically Hip fan. I would suggest find a Canadian who's a hip fan. There's lots of them out there. And, uh, no, my cousin Doug is not one of them. Patrick Traits also is not one of them. That's John DeShane. He's a hip fan. I saw him play a hip song on the internet once, so he must be an expert or something. There we go. That looks wonderful. Oh, you look marvelous. I wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. One of those is definitely higher than the other. I didn't factor that. Out. How about going evenly all the way across, Coons? All right. Well, you know what? We're going to put... The higher side on that side. So apparently we're going to adjust it anyways. All right. So we did that. We did that. Um, now we got some 3000 micro mesh. We'll use. Where is my fret saver 9000? Fretboard saver 9000. There we go. All right, I'm going to do this for the next 20 minutes. So I'm just going to pause the movie. You've seen me polish frets. You put that down, you go. That's it. Polishing, 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 polishing. Okay, we are now so polished that uh, I don't know. I don't have any fingerprints left, I don't think. Anyways, I was going to do a top wrap, then I realized I don't have a tailpiece. So that's not an option. There we go. Spaces I forgot while well, I can. Strings of choice. Not these ones, they're already open. All right, well, moving on. Next. The Dario XS 9 through 42s. So you open this up like a, like that, I guess. And then you take this and you rip it open. They're like we we're, we like the environment, so we cut down on packaging. Really? Seems like an awful lot. 
Buy, connect, recycle. All right, all right, there we go. I can go into recycling after this. We got the vac pack. Ah. Oh, excuse me. I don't know where that came from. Well, I do. It came from the esophagus. with built up. I'm going to put that in my pocket because I'm a player circle member and uh, I keep forgetting to take the packages upstairs uh, to uh, redeem. That's it. Redeeming quality. Oh, I need the code though. Because I can never remember. See? Last one from before. That's the previous repair. So I'll put that in my pocket. Got a hand in my pocket. And the other one's giving a high five. Sure. Um, brass. That's what I want. Brass in my pocket. Who has brass in their pocket? Like some person from the old times that's got, you know, brass coinage or something? I don't know. Sure. Oh, all right. Just going to my mouth while I do this. Now that's going to flip off because it does. Easy. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I heard you. This guy's like, why did you put the bridge on? Bridge has been reinstalled. All right. I'm gonna put the rest of the strings on because I'm trying to cut down on the time so it's not like a hour and a half long video. So I'll be back once they're on. Strings are on. Clearly not up to pitch. I always like to put up to pitch and then seat them because you're not stretching your strings. You will not stretch a piece of steel core string with your hands without mechanical help. Sorry, Martin, it's just a fact. I know you're gonna say about bending strings. You're tightening the string, you're not stretching it. Seated, oh, not even on that point. Oh, you're just right loose. That must have been one that I heard. Tink! Alright, seat some more. Oh, I'm so afraid of breaking a string. Because these are coded strings and you can't really buy them in singles. Where's my string stretch ah? See if it says stretch ah. Doesn't say stretch er, stretch ah. Thank you again, Lucas and Martin from LM Guitar Corner. Whoop. There we go. Oh, that one popped out. That's why I have my hand over the end, see, because strings will pop out if you go too far. You went too far! No. What? Oh, the A popped in. Oh, wow, I've never had that. The A string popped into the E slot and just shoved the E string right out of there. That's like croquet action or something. I don't know. Can't say I've ever seen that happen before. Right. Tune down to C sharp. G sharp. D went down to well, almost down to C sharp. F sharp almost on the nose. Down to A sharp. 
Oh, I'm getting hungry, barely stretched at all. If you hear rumbling, it's not thunder, it's my belly. Excuse me. All right, let's check that action. Oh, now I'm getting gassy and hungry. What the? What the? That's three. And on that side. go and now we're three piece sweet yep tuning is slightly out that's okay because I just raised the bridge uh, we'll turn that. oh just checking intonation Yeah, I didn't think of a change. Here we go. Got a fresh set of strings. We've got lubed up fretboard and I guess bridge support. You call that? I don't know. I'll call it that. Is it due for another pinup girl? Yeah, it might be. And again, I don't think I want to put any on the actual finish. We'll just stick them on the pick guard. I don't know. Well, there's plenty of room. We can put two more. Give us some friends. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Tune in to a Monday night show to see me play the thing, and then you'll know for sure. So let's uh, get rid of these. And uh, we'll call it a day. I've been Ben. You've been you. This has been a Gretsch. 2420, Au Natural. I think Richie has the same thing in a bagel stick version. I'll check into that. I also think he might have a hard shell case for his, which I'm gonna see if he wants to part with, because I don't have a hard shell case for mine. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be taking this out to the studio at some point, because I'm writing a song, and I think it sounds best on this, in the middle position. So, there we go. So, let's, uh, this way we're dawdling about. What do we got here? Instant detailer. No, I got my fingers stuck in cobwebs. What I got? That's what I'm looking for. The waterless wash and wax. No hose, no problem. Just spray on and wipe off. Just a little. A little goes a long way. What are you doing? Putting carnauba wax on there? Why not? Why not? Oh, yeah, guess what? When I strum down my hand doesn't, or my forearm doesn't burn. Well, you can't see it. doesn't burn on the binding. Here, I'll do it here for the sake of argument. Because That's right, because I waxed it. It's a lubrication situation. Well, I got overspray on there. Got to get rid of that. I'm off my gas. There we go. Come over here. We'll get in there. There we go. Sure. All right, any questions, class? Are you gonna do the back? Oh, I suppose I could. Yeah. I don't know. Let's get done with the front first. There we go. And for giggles. There we go. Yeah, look at that back. Nobody ever sees the back. I see the back. There we go. There we go, folks. Oh. Yeah, I forgot, it's got an arch in the back. I feel it when I'm rubbing over it. There we go. I've been Ben, you've been you, and this has been an episode from the bench, from the workbench, as the workbench turns. No, you don't want your workbench turning because everything falls off of it if it turns, so. Wax on, wax off. Peace, folks. How do you turn this off?